Hi right, guys, uh, my name is Ijaz. Uh, I'm a development architect. Uh, works for a company called uh, Advania UK, um, uh, and here's my LinkedIn and Twitter handle if you want to get in touch or if you have any questions. So today I'm looking into a real-time incident tracking dashboard with uh, uh, with the web list web um, list webhook notification. So see uh, how, how you know. If we go in, uh, so basically there are two parts of this application. There's a one side is where we have SPFX web part called Incident Dashboard, and and which is using um, Microsoft uh, SharePoint Framework list subscription capability. So we basically get notified um, automatically as soon as any changes happen in our uh, in in custom list or library. Uh, that's one web one side of the solution, and second side of the solution is uh, we have built I built a custom webhook list notification service uh, based on Azure Functions. So as soon as any change will happen in the sh in the list, uh, it will also send a notification to our subscribed uh, URL for the Azure Function and the all the rest of the things that are happening in the Azure Function, like your team integration and all kind of so sort of things. So let's look into uh, the architecture. What's that look like? So we have an end user. Uh, end user, go ahead and add an item into the ship and list. So we have a web part, SPFX web part, like an um, incident dashboard. So it's uh, subscribed using the list notification capability. So as soon as the changes happen here, uh, we we will get to know and the change get populated in our web web part. The data will be refreshed automatically. We don't need to reload the page. That's um, that's how the list notification works. So uh, so that's uh, uh, on this side, and and at the same time, uh, we have uh, subscribed to uh, our custom webhook um, uh, service. So the request will also uh, go to the, our custom service, where I'm checking. Okay, there are some uh, there are some changes in the last five minutes. Yes, there are some changes. Uh, when the request comes in, I'm first of all I'm checking if it's a validation. Make sure there's a valid request, and checking within uh, changes within the last five minutes. One, if the changes are valid, uh, and I can see there are some changes, and then if my business criteria meet, like hey, you know, I want, I'm only interested in critical updates, uh, et cetera, et cetera, then I want to make sure I want to let my colleagues know or my IT support team in my team. So I'm sending a, a, a adaptive card to them, say hey, there is something urgent uh, happened, so can you please take a look? So, <clears throat> so. Uh, so what we need to set this up before we need to create a sport. Um, uh, I mean, this is a custom list, so you can call it anything. I call it a, my tickets list because I'm creating some IT support tickets. Uh, you need to go ahead and create a uh, register a uh, ship uh, Microsoft intro ID app uh, because I'm using uh, PNP core uh, for um, getting the changes uh, from uh, um, uh, from from the list using from my ship my custom list web my custom webhook service so i need to uh, have this set up for authentication uh, so we can go to this url to to get the full steps um, uh, they even provide you this little uh, powershell script as well with the pnp you can run this and it does everything for you you can create a, it will create a certificate for you it will create an app for you and uh, you can also um, uh, set up your scopes and permission as well so this is the command of the uh, at the bottom, and then you need to create a your storage account. Uh, I need this because I, as soon as I get the item, uh, I, I get the notification, and this is a valid notification. I'm putting that uh, not, uh, uh, that message into my queue, your storage queue, because I have to go back and reply within the five second window. Or that's why I'm putting the notification in the queue, so other Azure function can pick this up and process the request. Uh, create a Microsoft Teams incoming webhook. You need to create that so the one if your uh, you know your business uh, logic meets that you know yeah you want to inform uh, team in Microsoft uh, Teams uh, a channel then you need to go ahead and do that incoming web is really easy to do as well uh, deploy and then at the end you need to deploy uh, your function and once you deploy the your function you will get your you know your function URL. Uh, and then you need to go and ha uh, run it, uh, this command on the right hand side, which is add PNP web app subscription. Uh, you could see here, uh, this is my your function URL, and I wanted to subscribe to uh, add this as a notification URL for this list, which I have created on the step one. So 
once we all that hooked up, we go to the next and see before we go to the you know demo, we want to just remind like how the ship and list webhook works. So basically, your this is your ship and list, etc. You send it once changes happen, you send a post request to your custom webhook endpoint, which in our case is the Azure function. And then within a five second, you validate the token and you reply back. Say, yeah, this is a valid request. And hey, you, here is my confirmation. So once you've done this, then what I'm doing exactly what I'm doing, I'm putting the storage, I'm putting my message into the storage queue. Uh, I mean, this case is a kind of old uh, DAG, um, picture, but I'm using my Azure function. So Azure function is being picked up from the storage queue. And then what exactly is doing is, is using get changes, see some API to get the latest changes from the list. And then uh, and I've added some more customers, you know, okay, give me only changes from the last five minutes, don't give me everything. And within the last five minutes, if there is any changes, which is critical, I'm then basically sending the uh, message to the uh, Microsoft Teams channel. So let's begin the demo. So um, I go ahead and to, so this is my um, uh, incident dashboard web part, SPFX. So you could see uh, I'm just retrieving the items from the list. So your first one is a user is unable to access their email account. Uh, this is me testing. So if I go to that item, and this is the first in the list, so I'm going to just refresh just in case. So I'll go to the first item, and I would say, edit this item, and I'm going to say, okay. Um, so I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to say, just demo. I'm really bad with coming up with some names. So I'll just say save. Okay, so let's see what happened here. So I'm not refreshing the page, so I'm expecting this to automatically picked up and this get changed. The live demo and this list description. So hopefully it will do that. So while we wait for this one, uh, we'll come back. I'm not refreshing this, so hopefully this will, will should change uh, should change this uh, because it's subscribed to those changes. So I'm gonna maybe a few seconds. Uh, in the meantime, I will just go back uh, to service, which we have. I build here, so I'm going to go back uh, to SP Webhooks receiver. So that's the first one, which is a, a simple uh, HTTP uh, trigger function. So once uh, I uh, that trigger, uh, when I make a change, once I make a change in the list, it's this uh, it, this get uh, this guy get called, and I'm validating the token. If it's a valid valid uh, token, then I'm sending Yes, please. It's OK. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, and then once that done, uh, then I'm checking if is a uh, the, if there are some notifications. Yes, notifications are there and I'm adding into the queue. And then there's another function, which is a process ticket. Process ticket then basically is a queue trigger function. And uh, and then w what I'm doing is to go and get the recent changes. And if I go to the implementation of this one, um, so in here, what we're doing is basically I'm getting some authentication. It's the usual stuff. So probably, you know, say close of documentation, how to get authentication. So please check that. So what I'm doing is I'm building a my change token here, which is um, I'm, I'm calculating from the So I need the duration for the last five minutes. So you could see here the duration has been here. So uh, so that's the st starting value, end value. So once I've got my five minutes change, then I'm subscribing to any item, add, update event. So if anything uh, changes in the last five minutes, bring me that. Uh, and once I've got all, uh, all the changes, if there are any changes, and then I'm checking if there's any critical changes. If there are any critical changes, then I'm sending a notification to a channel, which uh, you know using the uh, uh, webhook notification URL, which uh, we have created a in the Teams channel. So if I go to this implementation, you simply see, so you get the adaptive card, which we have it here, uh, incident JSON. So we've got the, and populate our uh, list items in there. So we on, once we got the adaptive card uh, hooked up, then you simply post uh, to webhook URL. This is simply HTTP post request, and that's it. So if we go back now, I'm hoping that has been updated. So that's good, uh, that's, uh, you know, because without refreshing the page. And the second thing happened is it request goes to the same thing demo has been come up in here, which is your, there's a critical item it has been reported some detail and the user can click it and go back to the same item in there as well. 
So that's that's all from my side.